Look, so this is what you should take into consideration if you are recruiting C-sharp developers. There are a few use cases that C-sharp as a programming language is usually used for. And you can also see this in the mind map that is focused on the C-sharp landscape. So you would be able to see that C-sharp is used for web development, it is used for mobile development, it is used for desktop development, and even a games, IoT, machine learning. So the C-sharp as a programming language has a, a wide range of uh, potential use cases. So when you are recruiting a C-sharp developer, you need to know who exactly are you looking for. Are you looking for a mobile app developer who will be using C-sharp as a language? Because in fact, C-sharp is nothing more than a language, right? Like you can speak English, I can speak English, but what we do with the language can differ. I use it to, uh, to talk about IT recruitment. You may use it to, I don't know, uh, talk stories to children, right? Like it doesn't matter. Uh, so, so it is a tool, also the .NET ecosystem, it is a tool that Microsoft has created for those who use C-sharp programming language, all right? So um, when you are recruiting C-sharp developers, think about the use case. Is it um, mobile app development or desktop app development or games development? And then, as you can see on the mind map, you would uh, also uh, recognize some of the frameworks uh, such as um, .NET Core framework or um, Unity or WinForms or Xamarin because these frameworks are used for a particular use case. So, um, for example, those who use Xamarin use C-sharp to develop cross-platform mobile applications. And now, when you have this information, it is so much easier to go through job requirements and to screen candidates because you start noticing some of these patterns, some of these keywords, some of these uh, frameworks, and you can derive some meaningful value out of it. All right, so this is my quick takeaway from uh, the mind map on the C-sharp landscape. And obviously there is a lot more, as you can see on the left-hand side of the mind map, uh, there are some more frameworks and testing frameworks. So you can also use this mind map as a way to, um, or, or you know, just use it before your next uh, call with a hiring manager or a candidate, because you can just look at it and ask a few questions around. For example, um, hey, dear developer, have you been using uh, any unit or X unit in your previous um, project? And I just ask this question based on what I can see on the mind map, which is really cool, right? And you can also ask about um, some other technologies, uh, for example, entity framework. Have you used entity framework in your previous project? And you don't even need to know what the entity framework is. You just ask these questions and you can gauge if the candidate actually has experience with it. All right, so this is my quick tip of the day. I hope you find it useful. If you'd like to get the whole uh, booklet with all these mind maps, then uh, just go to the website itrecruitermindmaps.com. And if you would like me to organize that session for your team, well then just go to my personal website, michaeljuhas.com and uh, you will be able to fill in a contact form, an application form, and um, we can talk about organizing a series of sessions for your recruitment or sales team. All right. So with that, I'll wrap it up. Have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon again.